<sighs> Tonight I got a really good haul. <laughs> oh no, I feel awful. What did we get? A bear, three wood, one electrical component, one weapon part, 12 components, one herb, five sugar. <laughs> like nothing useful. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> okay, what's Bruno got to say? I have a house just outside the city and ride a bus to work. One day I was in my restaurant here in Polgaran. I really wish I knew how to pronounce that. Not really noticing the muted TV showing some scenes of heavy fighting and suddenly I recognised the location. It was my town. My friend was there. With pounding heart I grabbed my coat and rushed towards the sounds of gunfire. Oh, it's Katya. She's made herself a coffee. Good for you. I'm gonna get him to, him being Bruno, to make some food. Anton's recovering. God, this wound is taking forever to heal. Um, we're gonna use wood to make fuel. It's quite cold. I really need water. Ugh. Okay, let's see if we can make a water filter. We can. Um, okay, I'll put Bruno to bed whilst we're figuring the water situation out. That's going to take a bit of time. And let's see what we can make. Nothing. Oh, okay. We can make a bandage. Let's do that because we can just, we can trade it if we need to. And Katia, I'm going to send you to bed. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, this is someone who needs some help. Hmm. Who do I send to the door? Yeah, you go to bed. Um, Bruno is like very tired though. And Anton's... Mm, Alright, sorry Bruno, I'm sacrificing you. <laughs> Hopefully not permanently, but I'm going to sacrifice you a little bit. And let's... Uh, I'll just put the fire on again. It's me again, sorry to disturb you, but I'm terrified. It's me again. Yesterday I saw a band of shade a band of shady looking types watching my house. I'm so scared. They might try to rob us or worse. I have a teenage daughter. Can you please protect us for a night or two? You can use my husband's hunting shotgun. Yes. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Cool. All right. So we've lost Bruno for a day or two, but for a good cause. I'm glad we decided to protect our neighbor and her daughter against bandits. Yeah. I feared we might not agree to help our neighbour in need. I'm glad we did. Good. I'm glad everybody agrees. I'm so relieved we agreed to help our neighbour in distress. Bruno probably doesn't share the the opinion. Maybe we just get Pavel to eat the tin of food. Okay. Now he's just tired so he can go to bed. We're gonna have to start going to some actual like really dangerous places I think because we we could do with getting like a helmet and a bulletproof vest and, and repairing them if they need repairing. Katya is content. I think that's because she drank coffee. Okay, the water's almost done. So let's see if Katya can cook. <laughs> We've just lost our chef, so... Mm, I don't want to use all of the wood. Ugh, so many components just to make some fuel. It's crazy. Okay, make two meals. You eat one. Anton, you come and eat one. I wonder if he's warm enough with this fire down here. Do you think it heats the whole house? Because I can't imagine that this little fella heats the entire house. Unless it's hooked up to a radiator system. <laughs> yeah, if we can upgrade it. Oh, this is the stove. Allows us to prepare cooked food more efficiently, saving fuel. And same with this, using less fuel. That's what we need, really. And it requires what, sorry? Components. Components and a thermometer. I wonder if we can make that now. I can't remember what we needed. Was it electrical components? Yeah, two more. So it's not a therm it's not a thermometer, it's a thermoregulator. Should we just use a bandage? Maybe that will help. Okay, clocks are ticking. Let's end the day. Uh you can guard and now that you're bandaged you can also guard and Pavel's going to scavenge. Oh, we have the option to stay. Well, we're not going to use it, but good to know. <laughs> that button's been there every single time, I've only just noticed it. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, we've got to start going to some scary places, I think, if there are any that we can visit right now. 
But aren't really. Should we go to Sniper Junction? Some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, lots of parts. Construction site, some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, lots of parts. I just didn't see any of that stuff. Did we go back there? Lots of weapons? So this is where we just went and tried to nick some stuff, but we got spotted. We're gonna have to start killing people, I think, to get supplies. Um, We may find valuable things there, but it's very risky. I'm just gonna go. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm just, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna take a shovel and just have a feeling. Watch out, you don't want to get shot by the sniper. I can hear him. The bastard is in the hotel. What did he say? Covers the whole damn street. Oh god. If we can get underneath somehow. You either take cover behind something or stay away. I think twice before going there. There's a dead guy right there. So he's in this building. Oh, so we can actually get to him. We could get to him. We could kill him. Alright. When you say take cover behind something. Oh, is he in? Oh, he's in the hotel. He's in here. Okay. So we need to time our... We need to time it. I must admit, this sniper is one dangerous warrior, elusive like a ghost. Nope. There's a gap there. Okay. Run. God, this is so scary. A sniper shot me, what? You're lucky he didn't kill you. Oh no, how do I help you? Can I help you? I was going home with medicine for my boy when I was hit. Oh no. I wanted to use the sewers but someone blocked the entrance. Please, can you do something about it? I'm going to work on it. Run! Don't know how safe I am behind this. Am I safe behind this completely? Maybe. Oh! Get inside! Okay. Rats. There's a baby crying. I mean, that baby's like really crying. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back to that, I'm afraid. Sorry, crying, crying babies are not my priority right now. Um, components, that's what we need. Can we get along here? Yeah. Look, just above ground, right? I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, can we... Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> Bird. Helping him. Yeah. 
I don't know how... Ugh, you don't know how grateful I am. Come with me, I'll try to repay you somehow. Okay, let's make this quick, because I am running out of time, bud. Oh, bless him. I thought he was... Honestly, I thought he was going to, like, ask for a bandage. Damn, it hurts so much. I missed what he said there. Yeah, I thought he was going to ask me to like come back with a bandage or something. I think I will have something for you. I've still got to get back yet. We're almost there, I just hope my boy is fine. Oh, hence the baby. Jacob, daddy's here, and he's not going anywhere. There's a box beneath the bed. Take as much as you need. I don't want to think what would have happened if I wasn't, if it wasn't for you. Oh, bless him. Uh, I'm so running out of time. I'll just take it all, thank you, or as much as I can carry. Okay, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you very much. We've got to get out of here now. We did it.